It's time for an adventure with Gus the Gummy Gator! That's why I love science, Gus. It explains so many things. Hi, little gators! I'm just talking to Peck on my iPad and snacking on some gummies! Mmm, mmm. Say hi, Peck! Oh, uh, hello, little gators. <laughs> Well, I'm having one of my famous all-natural organic popsicles. Wait a second. Where does that gummy go after I eat it? <laughs> oh, Peck! Do you ever wonder where food goes after you eat it? Actually, I do, Gus. Which is why I made my latest invention. The Organ Scanner 9000! Whoa! Come on over so you can check it out. Awesome! I'll be right over! Uh, I don't know if I feel too good. Oh. oh, it's just you, Gus. I thought I heard an animal growling. Nope, just my tummy. Allow me to introduce to you the all-new Organ Scanner 9000! Oh my gators, that's cool! But what does it do? I'm glad you asked. At first glance, it looks just like a square tablet mounted on a pole, right? Yeah? Wrong! Gus, why don't you stand behind it so I can show you how it works? Whoa! It works, Peck! The Oregon Scanner 9000 displays a high-def, real-time X-ray image. Look, little gators! Those are all the gummies I ate earlier. What do you think they're all going to do in there? I don't know, Gus. Maybe they're taking a nap. Actually, Gus, the gummies are in the process of being digested. Digest? What does that mean? It means your body is breaking down the food for nutritional value. Let's see how the organ scanner reports the gummies' nutritional breakdown. The report says gummies are only 5% healthy. Yikes. They only have a couple of grams of protein. That's not a lot, Peck. Oh, no wonder I don't feel so great. What exactly is the process of digestion? The digestive process first begins with ingestion, which starts at the moment you put something in your mouth to eat or drink. Then, physical digestion begins when you start to chew your food, breaking it down into more manageable sizes. Whoa! I didn't know digestion started the moment you put a piece of food in your mouth. I gotta say that eating the gummies is my favorite part of the process. But that's not all. There is chemical digestion as well. That happens with enzymes in the saliva that starts to break down the food even before it's swallowed. So, what happens next to all the gummies that I ate earlier today? Once the food is swallowed, the food moves down the esophagus, which passes the food from your throat all the way down to your stomach. Well... My tummy feels funny and keeps making rumbly noises. Sounds like your stomach is working really hard by using stomach acid to break down the food that you previously ate. The stomach muscles then squeeze and compact the food down so they can move through the small intestines where most of the nutrients are absorbed. Well, how long is it going to take for the gummies to be digested? This process can take anywhere from six to eight hours. Gummies are some of the hardest foods to digest because of the artificial sugars. I guess that's why my stomach doesn't feel so good. This is why it's so important to eat healthy foods. Vitamins and nutrients in healthy foods help the body to feel good, while junk food can make the body feel not so good. I see! So I need healthy foods to feel better. Here, Gus. Have a banana. It's rich with pectin which will help with your stomach pain. <laughs> <laughs> Peck, tin, <laughs> I get it. See the nutrition report? The banana is 96% healthy for you. Good job, Gus. Thanks, Peck. I'm starting to feel better already. My body feels better because of the nutrients, and my mind feels better because I know I'm eating a healthy food. That's right, Gus. You sure did learn a lot today. Sure did, Peck. First, I learned that digestion starts the moment food enters your mouth. Next, I 
learned about physical digestion, like when chewing food and when your stomach muscles squeeze and compact the food. I also learned about chemical digestion that happens with enzymes in saliva and even stomach acid. Finally, I learned that eating healthy foods will help my body and mind feel so much better. Thanks for teaching me all about the digestive process, Peck. It was my pleasure, Gus. And thank you for watching, little gators. See you next time. <laughs>
Whoa! These foods all look so yummy! And they're all so colorful! Ah, uh, yeah, you know it! Fruits and vegetables contain lots of essential vitamins and minerals, Gus. They're also low in sugar, which makes them healthier than junk food like chips and cookies. Whoa! I didn't know that! Ah, uh, yeah, check out their gill skills! Oh, wow, Gil! You took so many fruits and vegetables that you barely left any for me! Oh, wait! There's still one big red apple! I'll grab this as my fruit, and this yummy carrot as my vegetable! There you go, little dude! You did it! All my work in the market made me super hungry, so I'm gonna go home to eat these fruits and veggies! Later, dude! Bye, Gil! Great job, Gus! We finally have one food from every major food group! You're right, Mama! I think we can check out now! Let's go! Woohoo, little gators! Mission accomplished! We learned the five major food groups are dairy, grains, protein, fruits, and vegetables! First off, Alexi told me that both milk and cheese are dairy products. So we got milk as our dairy product. Then we were walking down the aisle, and I remembered that bread is from the grains food group. So we grabbed a loaf. That's right, Gus. Then we saw Peck picking up a bunch of fish, which is a great source of protein. So we went ahead and got one too. That's right, Mama. And finally, we followed Big Gil to get some fruits and vegetables to keep us big and strong. There was only one apple left. So we grabbed that and a carrot for our last two food groups. Did you have fun learning about the five food groups with us, little gators? Yeah, we sure did. It was awesome. Looking good. It's time to pay for our food and go home. Whoa. Hey, Mama, our delicious gummy snacks and food group. <laughs> <laughs> Silly gator. Gummies aren't part of a healthy food group, but we can buy you some to have every now and then. Woohoo! Thanks, Mama! Thanks for watching today's episode, little gators! We're gonna pay for these yummy foods, and we'll see you next time! Bye! Bye. Since you guys are hanging out at my house today, what do you wanna do? First things first, I'm hungry! Me too! I could go for a pizza! I make a delicious pizza! I don't know, bro! I do too! We could just cook one together! Oh, what's the fun in that? You know what I'm thinking, Gus? Oh, yeah! Pizza, pizza challenge! challenge! Fine, but I'm the judge! Okay, let's go! <laughs> Are you guys ready yet? Almost! Not quite! Uh, I'm not getting any younger! I'm done! Me too! Finally! Now I get to make a pizza that'll put the yummy in your gummies! Not so fast! I brought out the spin wheel to decide what pizza you'll cook. Come on, gummies, gummies, gummies! Veggie pizza? Huh, unexpected. But well, my specialty is gummies. If I can get bacon, I'll be a happy panda. Combo bunga! Bacon it is. All right. So, you both have only 20 minutes to make the best veggie or bacon pizza. Time starts. Now! Okay, little gators, I need your help because I can't do a gummy pizza. I need a new plan that doesn't have gummies. Mushrooms are a tasty vegetable. Spinach is too. Okay, mushrooms and spinach. Good idea. Maybe I can use green peppers and tomatoes too. <gasps> and I know the perfect shape to make. Pizza and bacon go together like me and video games. I can taste the victory now. Check out my pizza. I'm already halfway done. I got everything in place so far, but what can I do for my ears? I need an ingredient that's tasty and matches the color of my ears. 
You can use the black olives! Yeah! They match the color and they taste good! Mm, that's a great idea! Thanks, little gators! Hey! You guys are supposed to be helping me, not combo! <laughs> Less chit chat and more chop chop. Oh no, I gotta hurry. Shrimp and cheese, yeah. Uh, radishes, yes. For the eyes. Good idea, Gus. A controller? What are you doing there? Get out of here. Thanks for the controller. Since my pizza is already cooking, I think I'll play a quick game while I wait. Call me when I've won. <laughs> okay. All of my ingredients are ready and perfectly placed. Check it out. All of my ingredients are ready. This is a radish. I'll use the radish slices for eyes. I'll also place the tomato slices in the center. Looking good already. Now I have to make it look more like me with the best color there is. Green! So, I have a nose and a mouth. How do I make those? Yeah, those are my favorite! I know! You told Combo about them too! Now he's gonna beat me! <laughs> Five minutes to go! Oh my gummies! I gotta hurry! Okay, olives are there. I'll do my chin with uh, mushrooms! That'll taste yummy! And for my teeth, just a sprinkle of pineapple. Woo! Maybe I can get a video game in, too. <laughs> Maybe not. 30 seconds left! That level was so hard. <laughs> hey, what's that smell? Is something burning? My pizza! You kids gotta be more careful. Wouldn't want your mom to see a fire out here. Then, even I'll be in trouble. Okay, thanks, Dad. Well, it's time to declare the winner. Let's see how they look. Okay, well, when it comes to the shape and look of the pizzas, you both did an alpha awesome job at making the pizzas look like you. Gus, I love the colors on yours. Woohoo! Combo, yours is a little crispy. <laughs> it's okay, you can say it. It's burnt pretty bad. <laughs> I know, I lost. It's okay, Combo. We can all share my pizza. Thanks, bro. Then, Gus, I declare you the winner! Yeah! Now let's eat some pizza! Thanks for watching, little gators. I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Hiya, little gators! I'm outside playing while Mom is inside making dinner. Yes! Could you please grab me some tomatoes from the garden? I need that last ingredient to finish making the salad. Oh! Right away, Mama! Wow! Look at all these fruits and veggies! This garden has gotten so big! Wait a second. Where are the tomatoes? Gus! Please hurry, Shug. Uh, okay, Mama. I can't tell which one is which. They all look the same. What's taking you so long, Shug? Well, everything in the garden looks the same. I can't really tell which ones are tomatoes. <laughs> Oh, well, Shug, I just finished making labels for the garden. Would you like to help me put them out? Sure, I'd love to help. Okay, Shug, first we can label the carrots. Yeah, but I don't see any carrots. That's because the carrots are the root part of the plant. So the carrots grow underneath the ground. Wow, Mama, I didn't know that carrots grew underground. That's awesome. Yep. Vegetables make up either the roots, stem, or leaves of the plant. Because a carrot is part of the root, that means carrots are vegetables. See over there, Gus? Go ahead and pick one. Yeah. This carrot was in hiding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly gator. All right. 
Next, we can label the watermelons. Yeah, Mama, I see them over there. They're huge. They are. Another difference between a fruit and a vegetable is that fruits contain seeds, either on the inside or outside of the plant. Watermelons contain seeds inside them. I always spit them out when I eat watermelon. You're right, Shug. So, it's a fruit. Good job. I think you're getting the hang of this. All right, Mama, what's next? What's next? Next is the lettuce label. Oh, I know. That's definitely a vegetable. That's right. But how is it a vegetable? Well, it doesn't have any seeds, and we eat the leaves of the lettuce plant, so veggies! Very good, Gus. Okay, next one is the strawberry label. Uh, fruit! Look, the seeds are on the outside. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, Shook, final label. Tomatoes! Uh, little gators. Are tomatoes a fruit or a vegetable? A fruit, Gus. Yeah! yeah. It's got seeds inside. Oh, you guys are right. Mama, a tomato is a fruit. Oh, Shug, you're right on. You know how vegetables can either be the root, stem, or leaves of the plant? Yeah. Well, another way you can tell the difference between a fruit or a vegetable is that a fruit is produced from the flower of the plant. Do you see those yellow flowers? Yeah. Those will be tomatoes soon. Ah, found you, Mama. This is a tomato plant. Great job, Gus. Now let's go get washed up before we sit down for dinner. Wow, this food looks so fresh. <laughs> it is fresh. Gus helped me pick the ingredients from the garden today. Great job helping Mama, Sport. Did you know that it's recommended to eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables daily? Three cups of veggies and two cups of fruit. No way! Really? That's right. And both fruits and vegetables are high in fiber, minerals, antioxidants, and plant compounds. Wow! I didn't know that. Hey, Shook, why don't you tell your dad what you learned today? Well, first, I learned that the vegetables are made up of the roots, stem, and leaves of the plant. Then I learned that fruits contain seeds, either on the inside or on the outside of the plant. Like watermelon, the seeds are on the inside, and strawberries, the seeds are on the outside. And finally, I learned another way you can tell the difference between a fruit or a vegetable is that a fruit is produced from the flower of a plant. This means a tomato is a fruit. I am so proud of you, Shug. Thanks, Mama, for teaching me about fruits and vegetables today. Hey, son, here's a joke for you. What do you think veggies really want out of life? World peace! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, little gators, for watching my fruits and vegetables video. I hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye, -bye. Bye. Hey, little gators. I'm just so bored trying to think of what to do. I wish something would happen to make my day more exciting. Huh? Scream truck, little gators! Greetings and salutations, Gus. Welcome to Pix Pop's ice cream truck. <laughs> My treats are guaranteed to help you beat the heat this summer. Wow, Peck, that's so cool. Actually, Gus, I'm doing a survey to see which treat kids like the most, and I was hoping you could be my taste tester. No way! I'd love to, Peck! But wait! All these treats are going to be free, right? Oh, gosh! Uh, well, since you would be helping me out... Why not, Gus? I think these treats can be free. <laughs> Woohoo! 
sounds like a deal to me, Peck. Let's get started. First up are my traditional ice cream cones. I have chocolate, vanilla, and cherry flavors to choose from. Wow, Peck, all these look so great. They don't only look great, Gus, but they're also a great source of calcium and phosphorus. Calcium is super important for our growth, and it helps keep bones strong. Well, my bones are telling me to try the chocolate-flavored ice cream. <laughs> Excellent choice, Gus. That's so awesome, Peck. I should have known you had some tricks up your fins. <laughs> Well, what do you think, Gus? And please, be honest. This is so good, Peck! Yes! I knew it would be good! <gasps> no! Oh, sorry, Peck. I accidentally dropped the ice cream. I guess now would be the best time to try the next treat? No problem, Gus. There's a trash bin built into the side of my truck. Whoa, Peck! You thought of everything! The next spectacular treat available is my Arctic snow cone! I love snow cones, Peck! Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that sounds good too. What flavors do you have? I've got bubblegum, cotton candy, and gummy flavored snow cones! Well, little gators, what do you think? The gummy flavor, Gus? Yeah, Gus, the gummy snow cone. <laughs> you know me too well. I'll take the gummy snow cone pick with extra syrup, please. Okay, Gus, but I must warn you, the syrup is made up of sugar and water, so it won't keep you hydrated. And not to mention the syrup would get sticky if it all spilled onto your hands. I'll be super careful, Peck. No sticky hands here! I'm so excited! Yup, there's the gummy! Say something, Gus, please! This is definitely better than the ice cream peck! <laughs> I knew you would want the gummy flavored snow cone, Gus! But remember, try not to spill the syrup on your. Oh, rats! Thanks, Peck. I guess next time I won't ask for extra syrup. Uh, do you have any treats I might not accidentally ruin before I finish it? Oh boy, do I ever! I present to you my latest creation! Peck's Organic Pops! I've got the perfect blend of blueberry, strawberry, and pineapple flavors all in one popsicle! What? Why didn't you start with that treat to begin with, Peck? <laughs> Just wanted to save the best for last, I guess. Wow, Peck, it's so colorful. Are you there? That's absolutely amazing, Peck. Oh gosh, Gus, do you really like it? Are you kidding? I already want another one. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm gonna go get these into mass production ASAP! I'm going to leave a five-star review right now! Hex Organic Pops are going to be the biggest hit of the summer! Huh? Oh gosh, Gus! I think that five-star review brought all these people out for Peck Pops! I've gotta hurry! Well, little gators, I guess something exciting did happen to me after all! <laughs> Hex Pop's ice cream truck is going to be a big hit for sure! Peck surprised me when he drove up in his new ice cream truck and wanted me to be the taste tester! I was so excited! And I even learned that ice cream pops keep our bones strong! The ice cream treat tasted great! Until I accidentally dropped it on the floor. I guess accidents happen, right, little gators? <laughs> then Peck had some delicious snow cone flavors for me to pick from. And you know me, I couldn't pass up a good gummy flavored treat. 
Peck taught me that syrup is made of sugar and water, but wouldn't keep me hydrated. This snow cone was even better than ice cream. That was until I spilled syrup all over my hands. Blech. And finally, I was blown away with Peck's organic pops. I couldn't believe how delicious it was. And when I finally came back to reality, I had to tell everyone about it. I gave Peck a five-star review. And suddenly, all these customers showed up out of nowhere. I have to say, it ended up being a great summer day with Peck and all these treats. I hope you all have a great summer day too, little gators. Thank you for watching. Bye! Bye. about to go grocery shopping. Oh, Mama, let's play this or that. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'll choose two food options, and you have to choose the healthiest option. Yes, I got this. OK, first, which one of these is healthier for you? A fresh fruit cup or a bag of gummies? Oh, wow. Oh! Sorry, Gus. Gummies are not the healthiest food choice. I think you fell into a gummy trance again, Shug. <laughs> oh, rats! I can't believe I thought gummies would be healthier than a fruit cup. I guess I saw the gummies and got distracted. It's okay, Shug. Gummies have artificial sugar, which is difficult for your body to digest. Gummies are some of the hardest foods to digest because of the artificial sugars. I guess that's why my stomach doesn't feel so good. This is why it's so important to eat healthy foods. You're right, Mama. Fresh fruit is the healthy option. Yep, fruits contain natural sugar, known as fructose. This is a simple sugar that the body can easily break down for energy. So fruit is essentially a natural dessert. Mmm, yummy! I didn't know fruit was that healthy. Okay, Mama, that was just a warm-up. Let's play another round of this or that. Okay, Gus, which one is the healthy option? Milk or soda? Food is cold and bubbly. Milk is also yummy. Especially with cereal. Stuck, little gators. Is milk or cereal the healthy option? Milk, because it has calcium, which helps keep bones strong. And vitamin D, which helps absorb calcium into the bones. Gus, the answer is milk, because milk has calcium and vitamin D to make my bones strong. <laughs> right on, Gus. Milk it is. You can add it to the cart. Oh, yeah. Buckets. All right, smarty pants. I got another this or that coming your way. Woohoo! Which one is the best option? A bag of chips or a bag of peanuts? That's easy. Peanuts, because they're a great source of protein, which keeps my energy levels up. Good job, Gus. That's correct. Wow, little gators. We learned so much about healthy food just by playing this or that. Quiz time, Gus. Quiz! Are you ready? Let's do this. First question. Which healthy food option contains the natural form of sugar, also known as fructose? A, fruit cup. B, gummies. Or C, cheeseburger. The first this or that, Mama challenged me to choose between gummies and a fresh fruit cup. I got distracted with the gummies but the healthiest choice was the fruit cup. That's what Mama taught me about the natural sugar called fructose. What do you think, little gators? A, a fruit, fruit cup. cup. Mama, the answer is A, fruit cup. Good job, Shug. Next question. Which of the following drinks helps make your bones strong? A, soda, B, milk, or C, swamp water? 
I don't think swamp water is going to help with my bones, so I know that's not the right answer. The next this or that question was soda or milk. I ended up choosing milk because it contains calcium, which helps keep our bones super strong. The answer is B, Gus. Yep, I'm going to answer with B, milk. Right again, Gus, you're on a roll. Final question. Which one of these foods contains protein, which helps produce energy for our bodies? A, celery sticks, B, a bag of chips, or C, peanuts? Oh, I know this one. Do you, little gators? Finally, Mama's last this or that option was a bag of chips or a bag of peanuts. I chose peanuts because it is high in protein, which gives us energy. The answer is C. My final answer is C, peanuts. Good job on the quiz, Gus. You did so well, I think you deserve a prize. Really? Woohoo! Well, little gators, maybe next time you're at the grocery store, you can play this or that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye! Bye! Hiya, little gators! For Easter, Alpha Alexa challenged me to do a What's in the Box challenge. That's right! And don't forget the catch. Oh, yeah! We have to use our five senses to figure out what's in the box. My cat senses are never wrong. We'll see about that. Mama's going to bring us a box with a hidden object inside. And the first one to answer correctly gets a point. The first one to three points gets a prize. Right, Mama? That's right. This Easter basket will go to whoever wins. Oh, awesome! Woohoo! Okay, kiddos, for round one, you have to use your sense of touch. Good luck. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Ah! Ah! What is it? It bit me. Oh, don't worry, Shug. It wasn't a bite. I'll give you a hint. It's not alive. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. Okay, I I'm gonna try again. Feels prickly. Yeah, like like it has spikes. I think it could be a cactus. Oh, oh, I think it's a pineapple. You got it, Gus. It is a pineapple. Looking good. The first point goes to you. Great job. Yeah, I hope I can keep it up for this next round. Good luck trying to guess this next one. You already used the sense of touch. Now you have to use a different sense for this one. Hmm. There's touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Wait, I can hear something. <gasps> Me too. So we have to use our sense of hearing. Hmm. It sounds familiar. But where have I heard this sound before? Oh, I know this sound. This is a common sound in the swamp. The swamp has a bunch of these insects living there. Ooh, what insect is that? Crickets! That's right. I do love the sound of crickets. It reminds me of home sweet home. Now you have two points on the board. Amazing hearing, Gus. <laughs> Thanks, Alpha. Okay, I need a point on the board. No more Mrs. Nice Cat. Here are the boxes for round three. Keep in mind, you can't touch or hear what's inside. Maybe we taste it. No, look. There are multiple holes for us to look through. We have to see what's inside. Oh, you're right. We have to use our eyesight. Let's take a look. I see a bunch of buttons. Oh, I can spot this from anywhere. That's a gaming controller. Great guess. You got it right. Alpha awesome. Wow, I'm happy you got it. I had no clue what it was. It was only easy because I've been gaming as long as I can remember. <laughs> that means Alpha has one point and Gus has 
two points. I'm catching up. Not for long. I'm going to get this one. Wait. What sense are we supposed to use for this? We already did touch, hearing, and sight. We only have taste and smell left. I think I do smell something. You do? Smells sweet. Oh, it's gummies, isn't it? It's not gummies. It's more of a sugary smell, like, uh, like cookies. Is it sugar cookies? That's right. It's my famous Easter sugar cookie recipe. Oh, rats, I should have known that. Maybe I was just smelling the gummies in my pocket. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself there, Suge. You should save your sense of taste for this final round. Since you both have a score of two points, whoever wins this round gets the Easter basket prize. Good luck. Taste buds, don't fail me now. Lemon! <laughs> You're both right, so you both win. <laughs> and there's enough in this Easter basket for both of you. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. Thanks so much. Wow, look at it. It's full of so much cool stuff. And maybe it will help me get the taste of lemon out of my mouth. <laughs> Even I enjoyed this challenge. These pictures are definitely going on the fridge. Mama! Oh, <laughs> I just couldn't resist. These are memories in the making. Those are great pictures. <laughs> look at our faces. We look so funny. <laughs> yeah, I had so much fun. Thank you for challenging me, Alpha. Of course, I had fun too. We have an Easter basket to dig into, little gators. I hope you have a great Easter. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Good morning, little gators. And good morning, Mama. Good morning, Shug. Breakfast is waiting for you. Thanks, Mama. Can you pass the honey? Sorry, Shug. We're all out. <gasps> all out? That's right. Actually, the whole neighborhood is out. Something to do with the bees, I think. Hasn't been any honey in months. Oh, no. This sounds like a case for Gus the Gummy Investigator. Whatever you say, Shug. So, if there's no honey, and there hasn't been any in a long time, that must mean the bees need help. Wait, do you hear that? I hear buzzing. That's a good sign. Come on. Wait, where'd it go? Huh, maybe I should have eaten before going on this adventure. It sounds like it's coming from over there! Ah! There it goes! Come on! Gotta hide! Gotta hide! Oh, look! A flower! I can't believe it! Mr. B, don't fly away! I just want to help! <laughs> Mr. B! I'm sure I saw him fly this way. I know, bees like flowers, right? I'll pick him this flower and bring it to him. No, don't. Oh, there you are. I was just trying to tell you that I'm just here to help. Well, if you want to help, don't pick the flower. Oh, I thought bees liked flowers. We do. We especially like them when they stay in the ground and keep growing. Oh, I get it now. I'm happy you told me, and I'm even happier I found you. I heard there's a shortage on honey. You heard right. What happened? Bees make honey, right? Are the bees okay? No, oh, we're not okay. Follow me, I'll show you. Um, 
What happened here? Deforestation. This is what it's called when large areas of trees are cut down. It happens a lot in forests like mine. What does that mean for the bees? Either their homes are ruined or they have to move and build new homes elsewhere. That's why there's no honey? Most of the bees are gone? Yep. And for the bees that are still here, like me, there aren't enough plants and flowers to help us. We feed on nectar and pollen from flowers. And that flower back there is the first flower I've seen in a long time. So, what if I tell my friends and family to plant trees and flowers? You would? That would be amazing! My family and friends would love it so much! We would have enough food for everyone! We would have places to build more hives! And we could help each other out! Yeah! If that's what you need, you got it! I'm happy we're friends! Since you're helping me out, I'd like to give you a present! Come with me! <laughs> Wait right here! I'll be right back! Okay! I can't believe it, little gators! We'll be able to help the bees by planting trees and flowers! Woohoo! Here you go! I'd like you to have this! This is the last of the honey in our hive! With your help, I know we'll make a lot more soon! Wow! Thank you so much! And don't worry, you can count on me! I'll head home right now and tell Mama! Thank you, too! I can't wait! <laughs> Mama! Mama! I know what we can do! Well, hello to you, too, Shug! I see you found some honey! Mama, it's better than that! I went into the forest, then I heard this buzzing, I followed a bee, but then he hid behind a rock! Sounds like an adventure! Well, he didn't want me to pick the flower because that was the only flower he had seen in a very long time. I've always said love is the flower you've got to let grow. But we became best friends and Mama, we have to plant flowers! Well, Shug, if you wanted to do some gardening, you could have just said that. Yes! Ha-ha! We're going to save the bees! Oh, that's how we're going to save the bees, huh? Hmm, I wish I had thought of that. We have to plant all the flowers, Mama! Even trees. Trees help bees build homes. We have to get all our neighbors to plant flowers and trees, too. That's how we save the bees. Well, I'm always looking for an excuse to pull out my gardening tools. I guess this is as good of a time as any. Woohoo! Thank you for watching, little gators. I'm going to plant some flowers and trees with Mama. I'll see you next time. Sunflowers? I think bees love sunflowers. <laughs> ah! Hiya, little gators. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. Whoa, look at that. Today is March 14th. It's National Pie Day. March is the third month of the year. And today is the 14th, just like the number pi, which is 3.14. Woohoo! Since it's pie day, what do you think we should do to celebrate, little gators? Let's make a pie! Making a pie sounds fun! That's what I was thinking, too! We should make a pie on pie day! Oh! Let's make a gummy pie! Wow! I'm so excited to make a gummy pie on pie day! Let's get started! Now, rats! I don't know which ingredients go in a pie, or even how to measure them! Check in the fridge! We'll help you, Gus! We'll help you, Gus! <laughs> You'll help me pick out the ingredients, little gators? Woohoo! Thanks, everyone! But who can help me with the measuring? It has to be someone who knows a lot about measuring and numbers. Ooh, choose Peck! Peck would know! You're right again! I think Peck would totally know about measuring and numbers. I sure hope he answers! Hi, Gus. I'm celebrating Pi Day by recalculating the entire number. Did you know that Albert Einstein was born on March 14th? Yeah, yeah, Peck, that's great. My celebration of Pi Day is so much more fun. I'm making a gummy pie. But I need your help in measuring out the ingredients. 
Can you come over here and help me? Well, I guess making history can wait since you asked so nicely. Whoa! I just realized my house is exactly 3.14 miles away! That's so cool, Peck! Thanks for helping me out! I'll be there as fast as I can! Bye! Now that Peck is coming over to help us make the pie, you can help me gather all our ingredients, little gators! Whoa! Look at all these ingredients! We've got pickle juice, eggs, ketchup, milk, and broccoli! Are any of these ingredients used to bake a pie? Milk and eggs! If you say so, little gators! Thanks for helping me out today! Is there anything else that we will need that we didn't find in the refrigerator? He needs sugar, Gus! Don't forget the gummies! I think we have sugar in here somewhere, and I know we have gummies too! Oh no! The sugar and gummies are on the highest shelf! I think my mom is just trying to keep those gummies away from me. I know what to do! I'll use a broom to get them down! Got the gummies! Now all I need is the sugar! Whoa! Oh, rats! Let's check to see if Peck is close by! miles is a long way from my little penguin feet. Oh, anyway, I'm here to help you with your gummy pie, Gus. Are you ready? Hiya, Peck. I am super ready. Let's add all the gummies. Wait, Gus, wait. First, we need to measure everything correctly. Ah, oh, rat. I guess you're right, Peck. I brought two things with me. First, a pie recipe that my mom has had since the year 2000. She's really old now. And secondly, my latest invention, the Pecomatic Mixer 3.14000! <laughs> Looking good, Peck! First, we need one cup of milk, two eggs, half a cup of sugar, and 3.14 pounds of gummies! Yay, gummies! That's my secret ingredient! Wait, Gus! Don't eat all the gummies! We need 3.14 pounds for the pie! Oops! You're right, Peck. I hope we still have enough for the recipe. That's it! That's 3.14 pounds of gummies! Let's add them to the bowl. Now we put the gummies in. Then we add the sugar. Wow! I can't see anything! Oh no! Uh, sorry, Peck. Oh gosh! I knew something would go wrong. Luckily, we have more eggs here. We did it, Peck! All the ingredients are in the bowl! Time to mix it up! Whoa! The Peckomatic Mixer 3.14000 is working great, Peck! <laughs> I can't believe it actually worked! Oh, I mean... The mix is now ready to be placed in the oven, just like I planned. Woohoo! Boy, you did it! The pie should take exactly 3.14 minutes to completely bake. That means it should be ready by 3.14 p.m. That's pie o'clock. Woo! 3.14 minutes is a long time. What should we do, Peck? Oh, I know. Since I came to help you bake, maybe you can help me go over my pie calculations. Uh... As you can see, pie is equal to 3.14159267510582. Whoa! The gummy pie is ready! There was a piece of cake! Gus, I think you mean a piece of pie! <laughs> 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 Whoa! This pie looks delicious! Let's invite Alpha and Gil over to celebrate Pie Day with us! 
great idea, Peck. Hey, guys. What's up, little dude? Hey, guys. Peck and I just made a gummy pie to celebrate National Pie Day. Do you guys want to come over and celebrate with us? Sounds cool, dudes. I'm on my way. That's awful awesome. I'm leaving my house right now. Looking good. Woohoo! Thanks, everyone, for coming to celebrate Pie Day with me. Oh, wow, Gus. This pie looks delicious. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this one. Hey, Gus. Don't forget I helped you make the pie, too. You sure did, Peg. Thanks for coming over and helping me out. We sure make a great team. And thank you, little gators, for helping us celebrate Pie Day. When I woke up today, I noticed it was March 14th, which is the same number as Pi. Oh, and remember that 3.14 is also the number of miles between our houses. Oh, that's right, Peck. You also helped me measure out 3.14 pounds of gummies. That was gummy-licious. And don't forget, the pie finished baking at exactly 3.14 p.m. That was pectastic! What? No, dude. Anyways, thanks for watching today's pie celebration, little gators. I hope you all had fun. It's time for us to chow down. Bye! Bye! Hi, little gators. Today, we're going to run this awesome cardboard vending machine that I made. We have a ton of snacks, Pringles, Oreos, and all sorts of tasty snacks. Let's get my first customer. Why, well, hey there, Gus. Hi, Mom. I'd like to order a chocolate milk, please. Thanks, Shug. Woo! I have that. It'll be one coin. Put it in the machine. Okay, I'll give it a try. All right, Mom. Put the coin in. Mm -hmm. mm. Woohoo! I got my coin, Mom. One chocolate milk coming right up. Mmm. Wow. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you so much for my chocolate milk, Shug. You're welcome, Mom. And make sure to tell Dad to come by, too. All righty, hon. Will do. You have a good time running your vending machine. Thanks, Mom. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm ready for my next customer. Oh, hey, son. What you got going on over there? Oh, hi, Dad. I'm just running my new cardboard vending machine. Oh, well, that's great, son. Um, do you think I could get a Rice Krispie? That'll be one coin. Put it in the machine, Dad. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. Let me do that right now. Woohoo! You did it, Dad. All right. One Rice Krispie coming right up. Yeah. There you go. Oh boy, I can't wait to eat this Rice Krispie when I get home. Hey, hope you enjoy it. And, uh, hey, Dad, tell Mo to come by if you see him. Sure, son, that sounds good. All right, well, I'm going home now. I'll see you later. Have fun with your cardboard vending machine. Bye. Bye, Dad. <laughs> All right, another happy customer. Yay. I wonder who will be my next customer. I wonder if it'll be Mo. Oh, hey, Mo. There you are. You came to visit. What's that? You want some Oreos? Okay, that'll be one coin, please. Yay, you did it, Mo. Looking good. Oreos coming right up. Oh, Mo, what's going on? Oh no! The machine is broken, Mo! I think we need to find parts to fix it! Maybe the store clerk has some extra parts to fix it! Let's go see if he has them! Check it out, Mo! It's the store clerk! Hey, Gus! Hey, Mo! How's it going? Well, not so good. My vending machine broke and I'm trying to fix it. Oh no, I think I have just a part for it. Hang on. Looks like we're in luck. Ooh. Okay, let me just open up this chest and it should the part will be in here. Oh, oh no, it's stuck. I think it's locked. Ah, I can't open it. It's stuck. Some kind of key to open it. 
Oh, it's right here. All right, here we go. Come on, open! Come on. Oh, it's not working. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, he's not working. You know what? I think I have what just what we need. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, all my tools are missing. Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, what do we do? I have some clues to help us find them. Blah, 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 blah. Woohoo, sounds like a scavenger hunt. All right, let's go. <laughs> Yay! Blah, 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 blah. Time to go on our scavenger hunt. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, blah, blah. I have the first clue right here. Blah, 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 blah. What's that, Mo? You're going off on your own? Mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Okay, see you later. Bye, Mo. Oh, it's the clue. Let's read it. Make your way to the place with food, and in there, you will find a lucky tool. Yay! All right, guys, let's go find it. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're here. All right, so the note says, make your way to a place with food. I think that's the kitchen. Yeah, this is the kitchen. All right, let's go. Whoa, I wonder where it is. Hmm. Whoop. Well, it's not under the table. You know what? I want to try looking over there. Maybe it's over there. Okay, good idea. Hmm, Gus, where do you think it's going to be at? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, Gus, look. It's right here. Oh, there it is! It's a screwdriver! All right! Maybe we can use this to open up the chest! I think you're right. Let's go see that another clue. Yeah, let's go! All right! What is the next clue? It says, go to a place where the walls are blue. Mm-hmm. Hmm. These walls are blue. Mm -hmm. There you will find the next tool. Hmm. It has to be in here, Gus. Yeah, let's go take a look! All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're here in this room trying to find the tool. Where could it be? It has to be somewhere somewhere. <laughs> well, Clark, it's not down here. Where could it be? Hmm, let's keep looking. Where could it be? Whoa, it's right here. Here's our tool. Two down, one more to go. All right, let's go. Thanks, Gusses. All right, we have two of the tools. What's the next clue? I have it right here. All right, go to the place you expect the leaf, and there you will find the missing piece. Cool, I guess that must be here. Yeah, let's go find it. Wow, look, it's another kitchen. Let's look around. All right. I don't see anything here, do you? I don't see anything either. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, what's that? Over there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, what is all this? Whoa, look at all this workout equipment. Let's try it out. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh. What? I think you dropped something. I think so too. Let's see what it is. Yeah. Look, a hammer. Whoa, I think that's what we've been looking for. I think you're right. This is the last tool I needed. Yeah. Let's go see if we can open the treasure chest now. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, hi, Mo. Where were you? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh really? that's nice. Oh, oh, thanks, Mo. <laughs> All right, let's open the chest. Let's use these tools to open the chest. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Gus, grab the hammer. All right, I got the hammer. Let's do it. Good job, Gus. Keep it up. I think we almost got it. Good job, Gus. Okay, time to use the drill. Here we go. I think we almost got it, Gus. Oh. Cool! Whoa. Let's get this chest open. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, wow! Looking good! We can totally fix the vending machine with this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's fix machine. Okay, I have what we need right here. Batteries. Looking good. Look, this is where the batteries go. All right, let's put these batteries in there. Whoa, it's working again. Woohoo! Whoa, looking good. It's working again. <laughs> Woo Woo that was close. <laughs> yeah, it finally works. I'm so happy! Now Mo can finally get his Oreos! 
Mo! Mo! You're finally here! I can get you Oreos now! Here you go, Mo! There you go, Mo! <laughs> I'm so glad we were able to fix it! Thanks for watching the show, little gators! I hope you had fun watching me run my cardboard vending machine! We'll see you guys next time! Bye! Bye! Hi, you little gators! Today we're gonna do the pancake art challenge with my friend Wendy! How are you, Wendy? Hey guys! Hey guys! I'm so excited! This is gonna be awesome! And you know what? I'm super hungry today, so it's the perfect time for a pancake challenge! Mmm, yummy! <laughs> it's always a perfect time for a pancake challenge! This one is the superhero edition! So, you get to spin the wheel to see which superhero you get! And we both have to draw it! Oh, that sounds so fun! Can I go first? Yeah, 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 you can go first! And, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute! We still need a judge! Who's oh, gonna be yeah. our judge? Hmm. No, I know. Mo, Mo, hey, Mo. <laughs> hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. Can you be our judge for the pancake art challenge? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mo says he has a very busy schedule, but he'll make time for us. <laughs> That's awesome. We'll make sure and share some pancakes with you, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that. Okay, Wendy, you go first. You All get right. to spin the wheel. All right, it's my time to shine. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's give this superhero wheel a super spin. Yeah, who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? Somebody easy to draw. Oh, Please. come on. Who am I gonna get? I really want Hulk. Spider-Man! Oh, yeah, Spider-Man! <laughs> All right, I'll use my web blasting powers. All right, if I got Spider-Man, let's see who you're gonna get, Gus. I really want the Hulk. Come on, Hulk, let's go. No, I missed Hulk. Oh, yeah, I got Captain, Captain America. America. <laughs> Ah, right! I can do that! Come on, let's go! Sounds super! All right, Spider-Man, let's make you into a pancake! <laughs> let's give him his big Spider-Man head! <laughs> and he needs his mask! Yeah, that looks like a spider already! Perfect! Time to add some red! We all know Spider-Man has lots of red, don't we? Oh yeah, that's looking good! Oh yeah, looking very red and good, Spider-Man! Oh, it's starting to smell super good, isn't it, Gus? Mm, yummy! It smells like breakfast! <laughs> I'm ready to eat! Okay, my turn! I've got to work on mine! First, we're going to draw an outline! <laughs> Captain America looks like a gingerbread man! Oh, looking good, Spider-Man! Finally got your web stripes on your mask! Now you really look like the right Spider-Man. Now we have to put a star in the middle of his belly. There we go. And let's add some blue, because Captain America is red, white, and blue. Ta-da! I'm Captain America, ready to save the day. Looks like Captain America is all cooked up. Time to flip you over. No, oh, rats! He's all burnt up! No! I don't think I did very well this round. Hmm, it still smells like it would taste good, though. Hmm, hey, Wendy, how's yours? All right, Spider-Man, time to flip you over. Yeah, he looks like he's ready. All cooked up. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> you got it! Oh, you he did it! perfect! No! He I'm looks like a bandit eat. from this side. Yeah, he sure does. That's because he's missing his stripes on the side. But we'll flip him back over. Maybe he can crawl his way off the griddle. <laughs> wow, those are some good looking pancakes, especially yours. Mine looks like a starfish, Wendy. <laughs> oh, I think you did a great job, Gus, but I think you might have some competition this round. Yeah, <laughs> well, let's see what Mo thinks. Hey, Mo, Mo! <laughs> Mo says he's ready to eat some pancakes. What you think? <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good. All right, well, you've got round one, Wendy, but let's see what happens round two. All right, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mo says because you won this round, and you get to go first. Oh, well, thank you, Mo. I'll be sure to bring you back another pancake. Yeah, so long as he can have your pancake. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, it's a deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Wheel, let's see what you got. Round two. I think you're gonna get Superman! Superman! Oh, let's see what we got! Oh, Thor! Oh, Thor! Oh, you might beat me this round. That sounds like a tough one. Let's see what you get. Yeah! Thor is really tough. My turn! 
I really want, I really want the Hulk. Come on, Hulk, come on. Oh, no, Iron Man. I got Iron Man. Oh, yeah. you got my favorite, Gus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Let's see, come on. See what you got. All right, Thor, let's see if we can make you happen. Oh, I don't know, though. You're going to be tough. Don't forget Thor's hammer, too. Yeah, I'm doing his big, strong helmet first. First, we do our outline. Now, let's do Iron Man's face. Mm, what kind of eyes should he get? I think big, big white eyes. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Now we can see where he's going. Now, let's fill in the rest of his face with some yellow. Whoa, I'm making a mess. I think I'm going to win this round, though. What you think, Wendy? Oh, it's looking great, Gus. Looking just like the real Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he has headphones. Yeah, it's kind of like a combo Iron Man. No, I've got to finish. Got to finish. We need more red. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> it's supposed to be Thor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks like a rabbit. Are those rabbit ears? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be his helmet, but we'll work on it a little harder. Just got to use your imagination, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I see Thor. Here's a helmet and a face. Yeah. No, wait. No, it smells like mine's burning. Whoa. I think it is burning. It's time to flip this thing. Come on, Iron Man. Just because you have an iron face doesn't mean you can stay on this griddle forever. Time to flip. No, oh, that's pretty burnt up. Rats. I think I messed up again. Whoa. Time Thor's going to gonna go fly into the air. Whoa. Wow, oh, you no. did it. Almost! Oh, he's kind of burnt though. No, oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, too bad. He sure looks good though. Yeah, it's like it's like we're looking at the back of his head. <laughs> yeah, it is, huh? Yeah, well, let's see what Mo thinks. Hey Mo! Mo! <laughs> yeah, Mo, you're up! Your turn to judge! <laughs> so up for judging is either Thor. <laughs> that one's done by Wendy. <laughs> This has very nice details. Wow, thank you, Mo. And how about Gus's? Yeah, he yeah. Check it out. Iron see? Man. I did Iron Man. Yeah! Oh. I'm the winner! Good job, Gus. You yeah. sure did deserve it. Look how yeah, awesome yeah. your Iron Man yeah, looks. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mo says that we both need to save him pancakes for this one. Yeah, and that the Spider-Man was delicious. And next up is me. Ha <laughs> ha, I get to go first. All right, Wendy, round three. Sounds perfect. It's the final round. Let's see what I get. Yeah, let's go, go, go. Right, I still really spin. want Hulk. Whoa, That's I got him. Batman. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not Hulk, but it's good enough. Rock you it. All right, now it's my turn to spin. Oh, I hope I get Wonder Woman. Come on, Wonder Woman. Come on, Rio. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh Superman. You got Superman. That's Batman versus Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like we're up for a fair fight. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, Superman, it's time to make pancakes to the rescue. <laughs> First, we need to start with your pancake face. Yeah, yeah. And maybe the giant S right on his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe not, but definitely on his chest, though. The Man of Steel. Looking good. He definitely needs some hair, huh? Let's fill it in. And he needs his little curl, doesn't he? Boop. Whoa. <laughs> now we need to fill in some skin. I think it's off to a wonderful, gummy-licious start. I gotta get onto my pancake drawing. All right, Batman, you are quickly becoming the Dark Knight. Check it out. There's lots of dark pancake batter everywhere. Mmm, yummy. Man, it smells gummy licious. Wow, Gus, that's looking so awesome. Yeah, thanks. Here we go. We just finished his mask. Now we need the rest of Batman's face. No, wait, he needs a mouth. He's got to be able to say something to the Joker. So let's give you a mouth. Yeah, we've got a happy Batman. And the rest of your face. No, no, the color's going everywhere. No, I hope Mo likes my drawing. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. What you think, little gators? You think I made it look just like Batman? Yeah, it's perfect. 
All right, Superman, now time to give you your costume. How else are you gonna defeat the bad guys without your secret identity? Whoa, it looks like Superman's dancing. <laughs> dancing? Oh, I thought he looked like he was flying, but I guess Superman can get down and dance too. Super boogie boogie. Oh, it smells so good, I'm so hungry. Yeah, yummy. Hey, it's almost snack time too. Whoa, what's that? I think mine's burning. <laughs> time to flip everything over. Come on, Batman, I'm gonna save you. No, I think his ear is stuck. There we go. Come on. You could do it. One, two, three. Yeah! Looking good. Now it's time to give Superman his big happy smile. He's happy because he defeated all the bad guys. But not Batman. He can't defeat Batman. Oh, we'll see about that, won't we? We'll let Mo be the judge of that. Last but not least, we need our super cape, don't we, Superman? So you can catch all the bad guys and fly high up in the sky. Time to give you a flip, Superman. Superman's ready to fly off the griddle. Whoa, he no, sure is. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, oh, Superman's all burnt up. Oh, he does smell burnt, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but he sure does look good, though. Mm, yummy, whoa. <laughs> oh, your Batman's looking great, Gus. Yeah, yeah, check it out. He's got the same head and the same eyes and the same smile. I think this is a good competition. Let me get this onto a plate and we'll see what Mo thinks, huh? Yeah, hey Mo. Yeah, and on to the judging of the final round. We've got one point for me and one point for you, Wendy. So this round's really important. Oh yeah, it sure is. That means it's a tiebreaker round, right? We gotta see who wins this round. Yeah, yeah, tiebreaker. Hey, where's Mo? Speaking of tiebreaker. <laughs> Whoa, Mo, what are you doing? <laughs> are you eating all the broken pancakes? Yeah, <laughs> 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 looks like it tastes good. I can't wait to try some myself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but it's your turn to judge the final round. Who are you gonna pick? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, Wendy has... Superman! Yeah. He's got his super awesome belt and his boots and even his cape and of course, his super fancy hair. Yeah, <laughs> 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 he likes his hair the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I have Batman with his pointy ears and his very intense, mysterious eyes. <laughs> yeah, that means I win! Oh, thank you! You did great too. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I think Superman always beats Batman, right? <laughs> yeah, well, at least this time around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mo thinks so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wants to eat all the leftover pancakes. <laughs> I was just going to say, you guys know what time it is? Yeah, what time is it? It's time to eat all these pancakes. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for watching our show today, little gators. Let us know which one of the designs was your favorite and who did the best superhero. Was it me or was it Wendy? Yeah. <laughs> Mo thinks it was Wendy. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Mo. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see you later, little gators. Make sure you like our video and subscribe to our channel. Bye. Bye.